hi, do you know that I've just recently learned that you can actually make your brain grow, especially in the first 10 years of your life, but even whenever you're older like me? Yeah, I've learned that a lot and I found this book that teaches about it. It's called Your Fantastic Elastic Brain. Stretch it, shape it. And it's by Joanne Deke and illustrated by Sarah Ackerley. So I thought I'm gonna share this with you because I think this is fantastic. When I was a kid, we were basically taught that you're just as smart as you are and you live your life with the amount of smart you are and that's it. But now scientists have found that the more you work out your brain, the more it grows, the smarter you get. Isn't that wonderful? I'm really excited about it. I always thought I was just stuck in a rut. Anyhow, I thought this, since we're talking about your fantastic elastic brain and stretching it and growing it, it would give me an excuse to shoot a rubber band. Let's see. Am I going to hit myself? I better... Oh! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> wow, that's fun. Oh, don't ever do that in school. Okay, so here it goes. Oh, in here, look, this says the average person's short-term memory can hold seven digits at a time. So here are seven digits. 2831908. 2831908. Can you remember that? This little mouse is going to try to remember. It says, I think I can remember this number. Do you think you can remember this number? See if you can. We'll say it one more time. 2831908. 2831908. And here it says, this wise old owl is saying, the human brain weighs about three pounds. And the mouse is saying, ugh, it feels like a lot more. Well, if you were a little mouse, three pounds probably would feel like a lot, huh? And here is a riddle. When does it rain brains? During a brainstorm. Do your teachers ever tell you to brainstorm? You get together with your friends and you start talking about different ideas and ways to solve problems. That's a brainstorm. Your fantastic elastic brain. Stretch it, shape it. What does your brain really do? Does it fill the space between your ears? Hello in there. Hey, all I see is pink stuff. Well, yes, but your brain can do so much more. Your brain helps you think and remember and name what you see and what you hear. Good kitty. It lets you move your body and feel both touch and emotions. <laughs> your brain does all the things that make you, you. Hmm, she's so unique. Ping pong champ, favorite word is elbow, likes red food, knows global landmarks, good at science, enjoys reading pirate books. Arg. My favorite word is foot. <laughs> okay. So what is your brain? Is it a muscle? No, the brain is an organ in your body. It's made up of cells and tissues. The brain controls everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, even everything you dream. Hey, I had that same dream. Greetings, earthlings. Welcome to Planet Organ. That is a strange dream, isn't it? So here's the brain alien, the heart alien, and the stomach alien. Greeting the earthling. <laughs> That's a funny dream. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. Cerebrum, hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, amygdala, cere cerebellum. Whoa, th that pink stuff is busy. I think, therefore, I am. Ooh, that's deep. The cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It helps you think and speak. The cerebellum. The cerebellum is the small, a small part in the back of your brain that helps your muscles to coordinate your movement and your balance so that you can walk, ride a bike, or play tag. Hey, I can walk and chew gum. Uh, you think he's gonna fall in a hole? I don't know, I think he might fall in a hole. Prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain behind your forehead. It lets you make plans and decisions. Mystery meat or secret soup? <laughs> I don't think I'd want either. Mmm, decisions, decisions. Hippocampus. The hippocampus is at the center of your brain. It works like a file cabinet to help you store and find memories. Found it! 
Jeez. <laughs> amygdala. They're right there. The amygdala is a tightly packed group of cells deep within the center of the brain that controls your emotions. Excited. <laughs> Angry. Embarrassed. Oh. Frightened. Sad. Happy. <laughs> Amygdala means almond. Hmm, I can see how it got that name. Because see, look, it's the same size. Neurons. Neurons are everywhere in your brain. They are tiny brain cells that make electrical signals to send messages to other cells in your body, telling them what to do. When you were born, you were very little. Your brain was small and not so strong. As you get older, your body grows and gets stronger. As part of your body, your brain grows and learns to do new things. And you can make your brain do even more. Your brain grows very fast during the first 10 years of your life. This is the magic decade when you can help your brain grow faster and be more powerful. Just like lifting weights helps your muscles get stronger, learning new things strengthens your brain. You can give your brain a good workout by trying to learn many different things. Like elastic bands that stretch when you pull them. Even things that are hard at first or that you don't like to do or that you don't do very well. Nice kick. Get easier when you keep trying. For example, think about the first time you played soccer or something like soccer. You probably couldn't kick the ball far or make many goals, but as you kept going to practice, you learned more about the rules of the game and followed your coach's directions. The muscles in your legs and feet got stronger, your movements were more coordinated, and you could run further and faster. Learning more and practicing what you learned let you play better and have more fun. Practice really does make perfect. Or at least much better. Even when you make a mistake while you're learning something new, you are still training your brain. See here, she's trying. She's imagining this is what I want to do. I want to make the rabbit come out of the hat. Abracadabra. Hmm, nothing yet. Shazam. Keep trying. Hocus Pocus. Ooh, getting there, huh? You will remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. Yay! Making mistakes is one of the best ways your brain learns and grows. If you aren't willing to risk being wrong, you won't take the chances that stretch your elastic brain. You can stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings too. Let's jump together. If you are frightened about taking a risk like learning to swim, finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. It will remind you that you overcame your fear. So you will be braver the next time something scares you, like diving into the water. Learning something new causes the brain to grow more connections among the neurons. With more connections, the neurons can send and receive more messages. These connections help to stretch a part of your brain and make it more elastic so that it can hold more information and ideas. How does the brain stretch and grow? A word that begins with neuro has something to do with the brain. A sculptor molds, shapes, or carves things out of clay, wood, or stone. So you shape your brain when you make it bigger by adding new things you know and can do. You are a neurosculptor. How did you do that? Neurons, my feathered friend. When you learn something new, you're building on what you have already learned. In the same way that the muscles in your body work together when you want to lift a heavy object or kick a ball, the different parts of your brain work together when you are learning something new. The amygdala makes you want to learn to play the piano. 
The cerebrum helps you decide to practice. The cerebellum calls up the memory of watching and listening when your piano teacher showed you how to play a new piece of music. Then your cerebellum sends messages through neurons to the muscles in your wrists, hands, and fingers so that you can hit the right notes. The next time you play that piece of music, the parts of your brain and body will know how to work together and you will play the song more easily. The brain that makes you, you, really is an amazing organ. It controls what you think, do, feel, and remember. Your brain is growing very fast during your first 10 years of life and now we know that you can help it grow. When you try hard to learn something new, connections grow from neurons and attach to other neurons. Then your brain can send messages faster, making part of your brain bigger and stronger. Making mistakes really helps you learn because your brain keeps trying new things and stretching until you figure out the answer to your problem. You are shaping a more elastic brain when you learn new things that build on what you already know. The more you learn and think about different kinds of things, the more you can learn, know, and enjoy. The harder you try without giving up, the more you will learn. Look at all these things. You really can train your brain to be fit and strong and to keep stretching and growing throughout your whole life. And then here is some information. If you'd like to hear it, I'll read it as fast as I can. More about your fantastic elastic brain. The brain is the most important organ in our body. It influences our actions, thoughts, and feelings. Essentially, everything we do. Each of us has unique strengths. Some of us are stellar athletes who can run as fast as the wind. Some are, of us are phenomenal writers who always know just the right word to use. Some of us have huge hearts and make friends easily. Each of these strengths relates to an area of our brain. If a particular skill comes easily for us, the corresponding part of our brain is already in shape. Our brains require exercise to stay in shape. Some of the skills that we are good at require less brain exercise, while those that we want to improve will require more brain exercise. Now for the good news. We can strengthen our brain and learn to do new things through effort and practice. And the even better news, making mistakes is an important part of this process. When you make a mistake, your brain learns to identify what didn't work quite right so that it can try a different strategy the next time around. The anterior cingulate cortex, also known as the mistake filter in our brain, is only activated when a mistake is made. Trying out new strategies leads to skill improvement and brain growth. How can I help my brain to grow? Hmm. Each of us is a neurosculptor. Like a fabulous artist creating an original design, we are actively responsible for creating the design of our own brain. Try answering some of the following questions to figure out where your brain has room to grow. What things are you really good at doing? What things do you want to be really good at doing? Who do you know is really good at something social or emotional like helping or being kind to others? Who do you know who is really good at something cognitive like thinking or being good in school? Who do you know is really good at something physical or kinesthetic like a sport or doing something with their hands? Who do you know is really good at other things that you think are great? What has that person done to become really great at that skill? What can you do to become better at the things you want to be really good at doing? There is no one way to design a brain either. We can develop our brains in all kinds of ways. Social, emotional, cognitive, physical, musical, theatrical, environmental. <sighs> the list goes on and on. What matters most is that we define the areas of brain growth that are important, most important to us, 
and then take the necessary steps to make it happen. For more resources, including discussion guides, please visit www.littlepicklepress.com. Do you remember the number? 283-1809? No, 1908. 283-1908. 283-1908. Did you remember it? Ooh. I need to train my brain some more. I better get going. Talk to you later. Bye.